Last week, about the 17th of April of 2012, I was in Nashville, Tennessee, and I was looking up the various national days, celebration days. One of them for April 21st was Marconi, National Marconi Day, and as I read it, I thought it said macaroni, and well, my mind wandered. Making a background paper with your inks, ink refills, spritzes, ink pads, whatever. I've seen people make background paper with their rubber stamps. Well, I wondered what would happen if you used macaroni. I have spaghetti, thin spaghetti here. I have some, where are you there? I have some bow ties. I think they're called far, farfarel or something. And then I have elbow macaronis. I have some 4x6 uh, print at home photo paper that I got at my uh, office supply store. It's Kodak inkjet paper. This works really well when you're doing something with uh, alcohol inks. I have a scrap piece of Stampin' Up! Whisper White cardstock. I have a scrap piece of a vellum that is kind of soft and almost acetate-like, but it's I don't know, it's a heavy stuff. I have a box, a Stampin' Up! rubber stamp box. I've taken my stamps out of it. I'm just going to break it off. Whoa! Into different lengths. Okay, they all look about the same, not different. All right, now, this is Garden Green. This is my homemade spritzy stuff. And this is Whisper White. And oh, a little bit of Cajun craze. Well, they're rolling off on me. Well, they have made a mask of sorts. Repositionable glue runner thing that the paper broke. And these crazy noodles are rolling all over. So I think I might apply some adhesive to them. Maybe at least a little bit. I've got them attached, the noodles attached. This is my Cajun Craze mix. And these are all Stampin' Up! ink refills with water and uh, perfect pearls. These are my homemade brews. And maybe a little bit of Knight of Navy. Mm -hmm. 
That's going to be muddy looking. Okay. Now I can take my spaghetti off. All right, now I'm going to dry this. Now my paper is all shimmery. This is Cameo Corral, cor Cameo Coral, something like that. I'm going to take one of these noodles, elbow macaroni, and dip it, pounce it in the ink. And I'm going to attempt to make a flower. Okay, there's a, a bit of the design. Doesn't look too much like a flower, but it's a design. A piece of this uh, clear-like stuff. Shelly, and her YouTube name is Takar, T-A-C-H-A-R. She took me up on my challenge. And she's made a card with hers, with her background paper. It's really quite amazing what she's done. All right, let go there. All right, a little bit of repositionable glue. And I'm sticking it to the lid of the box, just like Shelly did. All right, now I'm going to put several of these noodles in. And I will come back here. I'm going to use some faded jeans distress ink. Whoa, I don't know how many drops that was. That was quite a few. Uh oh. Uh -oh. And this is on a piece of vellum. All right, now I'm going to set this out to dry. All right, this was done yesterday, the inking with the macaroni in the box. And this morning I came in and this was still wet and curled up. It was wet in spots. So I added some gold embossing powder to the wet spots and heat embossed it. All right, now this piece is the photo paper that you use your, oh, it's ink. This piece is inkjet photo paper. And I'm going to put these noodles that I used yesterday back in and I'm going to use some alcohol ink. This one's Stream. Wow, that is really something. That's pretty cool. Look at that one. Look at this deer. <laughs> he's, he's overwhelmed. <laughs> or underwhelmed or something. <laughs> All 
All right, now, if you do this with your Stampin' Up things and you still need to store your rubber stamps back in there where they came from, to clean it out, a paper towel and some alcohol is all you need. And this is a piece of Whisper White. Actually, we'll use uh, Glimmer Mist. What color is this one? Yellow Daisy. This one's Walnut Gold. Oh, and this is a piece of Whisper White paper. That's the color that it's going to be. Okay. I'm not very good with using these macaronis and trying to make some kind of design. I'm not very original. And both of these are Whisper White cardstock and they have been sprayed either with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mists or my own brew. And I've used Stampin' Up uh, Cameo Coral and Brilliant Blue stamp pads for both of these. This one is vellum. Oh, that's that adhesive. Okay. This one is vellum and where did it go? There it is. Uh, faded jeans and uh, gold embossing powder. For this one. And this is the macaronis, the elbow macaronis that have been flopped around inside the container. And I like the way that one has come out and was still wet after about 18 hours that it would hold the embossing powder. And this one is, in my opinion, the best of all of my experimenting. And this is with uh, alcohol inks on photo printer inkjet paper. And the uh, macaronis banged about in, in here. So these two these two, I would say, were a success. These two, not so much. But maybe you're a little bit more creative than I am. 